morning, everybody. Hope you're ready to get started on your workout. And we'll start today with that daily five. And it'll begin with your choice. So you'll have one minute of your choice. Running around your room, getting on a machine if you have one, a rower, a bike, maybe jump rope, maybe up downs. Again, maybe just laps around your house or anything else you'd like for one minute. And then after that one minute, we'll go into an AMRAP for the remaining four minutes of your daily five. So we'll have four minutes to do as many rounds as you'd like of 30 mountain climbers. And so for your mountain climbers, you'll drop down into this plank and you'll drive those knees up to your chest. And each one counts six, seven, eight, nine, until you get to 30. After you've done 30 mountain climbers, we'll rotate over onto your back and we'll do 20 bicycle crunches. So you'll have your hands by your head, you'll pull your knees up and we'll take left elbow to right knee, right elbow to left knee, and meanwhile, cycling your opposite leg. So it looks like you're on a bike. And each one counts. One, two, three, until you get to 20. And then we'll go ahead and come on up to standing. You'll have your dumbbell nearby. We'll take both feet and jump over that dumbbell laterally, and then we'll go back. We'll do 10 jumps. Three, four, all the way up to 10. And then we'll finish our AMRAP off with five up down. So into that plank and then back up to standing. Back to plank and up to standing for five reps. It's also okay to step. <clears throat> and so again, we'll start this clock for your daily five and you'll do one minute of your choice. Anything you like for one minute, followed by 30 mountain climbers. 20 bicycle crunches, 10 jumps over your dumbbell, and then five up downs. And you'll have four minutes to do as many rounds of that last piece as you'd like. And that'll be our daily five for today. All right, we'll get the clock started. two, one, go. And so for this first minute, it's your choice. Whatever you would like to do for one minute, jogging around your room, getting on a rower or a bike, whatever you like, just getting moving for our Tuesday morning. Starting to get that blood flow going. 30 more seconds. Starting to feel that breath. And just getting that body moving in the morning today. And about 10 more seconds. And then we'll go right into those mountain climbers bike crunch, jumps over your dumbbell, three, two, one. So now we're into that four minute AMRAP, starting with 30 mountain climbers. Then we'll go into our 20 bike crunches. And then we'll have 10 jumps over your dumbbell. and five up downs. And 
Tuck your up down, take this back into mountain climbers. 30 reps on your mountain climbers. Twenty bicycle crunches. Two more minutes. Just moving at your own pace through these movements, getting as many reps as you like. Light crunches go into jumps over your dumbbell. And we've got one more minute. more seconds. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. And that's your daily five for today. So we'll go ahead and grab a sip of water, catch your breath, any stretches or shaking out that you need. And then we'll go into next, in 12 minutes, four sets of dumbbell chest flies and dumbbell upright row. So your chest flies, you will do lying on the ground or a bench or a med ball if you have it. And you'll have one dumbbell in each hand. I'll just demo with one dumbbell since my right hand, I can't do these with my right hand. But you'll be lying flat on the ground or with your back on a bench or a dumbbell. And you'll start up top here, we'll hold for two seconds. And then we're gonna fly out to the side and then back up to the middle, hold for two seconds. And we'll do these for 24 reps. <clears throat> Holding for two seconds at the top. I'm sorry, 12 reps. I said 24, but it'll be 12 reps. That two second hold at the top. And then we'll go into 12 reps of dumbbell upright rows. Standing up tall, pulling that dumbbell up to your chest, keeping your hips locked, glutes tight. One Mississippi, two Mississippi at the top. And so we'll do four sets in 12 minutes of 12 dumbbell chest flies and 12 dumbbell upright rows. Holding both for two seconds at the top. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we'll do four sets of 12 chest flies and 12 upright rows. And they're gonna include a two second hold at the top. Um, I saw you have a bench getting set up for your chest flies. So that's yeah. good. Okay. okay. Yeah, you just have your back leg on that and just open your arms up and then bring them back together. And so your hold is here, <clears throat> not here. Okay. Oh, the hold is out? You hold up. I know it feels like you should hold out, but you hold up here. Okay. The easier position for the hold on this one. And then your upright row, you hold at the top. <sighs> yeah. 
Yeah, especially for these ones, I was like, what did they mean by the top? So I watched the video to find out. <laughs> I'm sure you're not going to be taking more than three minutes each set, but just so we have an idea of what the time is doing, I'll just keep the clock running. I'm a, I have jury duty this week. Oh no! But they haven't called me yet, so I'm just like calling in the previous day after five so like last night I had to call after five and they're like okay groups blah 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 you still like don't need to report but call again tomorrow because God, they're gonna like anyway I hope they don't call me on like Friday and then right <laughs> and like put me on a case or something so that I have to keep going I hope they just don't need me that would be really nice <laughs> I don't really have like that a good reason to like get out of it. Yeah. It would take a lot of work. I would have to like show them a copy of my like schedule and my like tax returns to prove that I'm like self-employed. That, that would be tough. I wonder, would they let you out for that? They yeah, so like if you're so like the, the thing that I could try to get out for would be like, they say if you're self-employed and it would be like a, as a financial hardship, you know, hardship like, yeah. it was, you know, working every afternoon for like different clients and they couldn't, you know, take a week off or whatever. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I would have to like show tax returns and like some kind of like pay stub or something that like, yeah. that that's anyway, just like, you know what? And then also they make, they have all these different requirements too, for like, if you're a working mom, they make you like show your work schedule. They make you show your kids like daycare yeah. Yeah. so that like, you have to like prove all this stuff. And I was like, you know what? I'm the person that should be doing the jury duty. If like, <laughs> you know, they're making this so, I like, I don't have kids. Like, you know, yeah. I don't have things going on. It's like, they're making it so hard for those people to get out of it. Like they should be able to get out of it so that people like me can come and do it. I got called once when I was breastfeeding. So that's all I had to call and say. <laughs> oh, nice. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I think there were a couple other things that were like a little bit easier. Like if you had a plane ticket, you know, you just show them your plane ticket or if you have like a medical thing. But, and then you can also like reschedule it which I think like uh, under like the traveling circumstance or something, but I was almost like, you know what? Now is actually an okay time for me because yeah. I'm actually like this, I have like two weeks between Frisbee seasons between the like, I'm coaching between coaching boys and then coaching mix. Ah. It's like, I'm not going to be having to miss that. My Frisbee season just ended like, so I'm not going to my practices. So I was like, you know what? This really is an okay time for me to have to do this thing. And especially if I don't have to go down there. I just keep having to call at five the night before. <laughs> but it's made it to like yesterday and today, I don't have anything scheduled for the rest of the day after this. Yeah, that's good. I was always just like, oh, I have jury duty that week. I can't really. <laughs> yeah. But I don't have to report today. So I just kind of have a casual day off, I guess. <laughs> nice job on these flies and rows. feel so heavy today. <laughs> I know. I, th I feel like it's the time change. I like it when it's earlier in the morning. Like it's not super dark right now, but like, yeah, it still just throws me off. My internal clock is really strong. So it's hard to like reset. Last night was crazy going to bed. Yeah. Cause I was so tired. You know, I tried to stay up. I was, I think it was after 10. But 
yeah, and the internet kept going in and out. So it was, I don't know. <laughs> My husband's like, you didn't even notice that the TV stopped working 20 minutes ago. <laughs> like, sorry, I know I didn't. <laughs> I was like, oh, I guess I was tired. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That was me on Sunday because Saturday we had this like big event going on that I was like in charge of coordinating all the like volunteers who were like helping run the event. So it was like a lot of work leading up to it. And then it was like this showcase for the game. It was like pouring down rain and windy and it, oh. it started at like five. So it, and it doesn't end until like almost eight. And then we have to clean up and do all that other stuff. And then on Sunday, I was coaching all day at this tournament, this college regionals tournament. I was like helping out coach this college team that doesn't have a coach. Oh gosh. I coached some of them when they were in high school. And so they've been like, can you help us at regionals? Can you come coach us at regionals? Like we really could use the help for the tournament. <laughs> of course, can't say no. Yeah. Yeah. So I went like, was just like really busy all week planning for the event and then the event and then coaching all day on Sunday and then I came home Sunday night and I was asleep by like seven <laughs> but then it did totally just ruin my whole because then I woke up on yesterday I woke up yesterday you know at like what would have been like 5 a.m so a nice early wake up but it was instead 4 a.m <laughs> You know, so I was just like awake and then, yeah, ruined. And then I was really tired again last night, kind of like you said. And anyway, ended up falling asleep early and waking up again. I just, I think I'll be better today. Right at 5.30, which was the old 6.30. I was like, oh, lovely. Yeah, exactly. I just got to be good tonight. If I go to bed at a reasonable time tonight, I'll be better. I don't know. I feel like I say that every time daylight savings comes around for the next day. <laughs> I'm like, I'm still off from daylight savings like three weeks from now. I'll still be safe. we've done these in a long time no yeah I don't I haven't seen either of these movements in a while <sighs> crazy yeah up, I guess at the same time it's like oof these are hard I forgot especially a two second hold here is really tough yeah those are very hard for me my shoulders I have long time ago shoulder issues that always come up. Mm. So I have to keep light. Yeah. <laughs> and that's yeah. Oh, how, when is your shoulder going to be better? I'm actually, I'm scheduling an appointment with a specialist because was I telling you, it just like dislocates randomly. Yeah. <laughs> and it doesn't even need like impact or anything, you know, like rolling around in bed or like waving my arm like so I just really can't do anything overhead with my right arm huh so I have an appointment to see a specialist and they're probably going to recommend like an MRI or something to see I might have like because I keep doing all my PT stuff but it just doesn't really seem to get better so I might have like torn something yeah so well, the answer is I'm not sure yet still but looking to find out <laughs> And I've had a couple of friends who were tough, who have had shoulder surgeries recently, and they were like really happy that they did it. So, uh, yeah. And I guess they're not, you know, they can do a lot of it like orthoscopically. So it doesn't, they don't even really have to like, you know, open you up that much and it can be like a reasonable recovery. I guess it, you know, sucks to not be able to use your arm for a couple of weeks, but they say it's like way better afterward. And, and like one of my friends is like, well, like you're not, you haven't really been able to use your arm the way you want to for like almost a week. Yeah. <laughs> it might be worth it for like a couple of weeks to not have, you know. And so yeah, when I think about that, I was like, okay, you're right. Like, yeah, that's true. I'll go see the specialist. I'll get the MRI. We'll see what's going on. <laughs>
It's your last set. Yeah. That's good. Oh, it was, yeah, almost 12 minutes. Perfect. But we have plenty of time. So funny. I like, I think it's nice that not all the workouts are like, you know, super long. But I yeah. Think, but I think it's funny sometimes, like, it's hard to fit it all in. And then other days it's like, oh, we have so much time to do this. Well, last week I was able to blast through whichever day it was. I think it was Tuesday last week. I blasted through in 30 minutes. Oh man, I was tired though. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, if you just started a clock and like only gave yourself a minute between each thing, yeah, you could do it in 30 minutes. Yeah. So let's see here. Yeah, we just got a 12 minute AMRAP next. What time is it? 7.20. Okay. Yeah, you're doing great. Okay. I came in here and distracted you and wasted you that five minutes. No. Don't be allowed to do sit-ups. Okay. Hang snatches, jump lunges, sit-ups. I don't do jumping lunges. Those are too much on the knees. Yeah, definitely. If you want, you could like weight them. You could use your dumbbell and like put it in the goblet. Or, you know, 24, just plain old lunges is probably enough, too. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, what? Okay. Or you can do, like, 12 weighted ones if you want to weight them and not do as many. Okay, don't, do, don't do the jump. Too many. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot. Okay. Alternating hang snatch. So just hanging. Hang just means it doesn't go all the way to the ground. You just keep it at your hips. And then a little dip, drive, and punch up overhead. And alternate arms. Yeah. Okay. 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 Let and me. Then, and then the lunges. And then sit-ups. Okay. Here we go. What is? Okay, you walk. You started. Yep. Any cross country or anything today, or is it the off season? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yep. Is there ever an off season for cross country? 14. <laughs> December. <laughs> That's good. You need a little break. <laughs> Kind of how it is with frisbee. It's like there's not really an off season. It's just the type of who I'm doing it with just changes. You know? Well, my son won league last week. Wow. Yeah. That's so great. Good for him. Tomorrow's sections. And then that's after that. Is it like state? State. Yeah. I feel like that's one kind of part of like they have the whole state championship for frisbee too but it's like pretty much the same as their seattle city league there's not many other teams outside uh, the city so uh, it's basically just their league and then state um which is still even super exciting and but it would be cool if there were kind of like more layers you know or you got to really play you know if they did have teams in like eastern washington that you know, there's some like powerhouse on the other side of the state you don't really play very much yeah there's not really that i mean there was uh, our state is thanksgiving weekend yes i remember yes we talked about that i forgot that yes and so you're always doing cross country for thanksgiving yeah which i think i told you i kind of like that <laughs> it's fun it's cool to just have like your own family thing for Thanksgiving. Yeah. I feel like a lot of times it ends up being about other family members, which is good too, but yeah. I kind of end up like, okay, what does my mom want me to do today? You know? 
Yeah. Which is great. You know, I should think that most days, but it'd be cool to just have like, you know what, I'm doing my own thing with us and you'll catch us on Christmas. Well, I feel bad for my mom, but I'm like, you know, it's just it's so hard to do it the other way. Yeah, you can't do both. You didn't schedule it. Yeah. Yeah. She can come watch Cross Country. Yeah. She's <laughs> Well, I've learned just to make a vacation out of the whole week. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to Disneyland. Perfect. Going to see Hamilton. Oh, cool. In San Francisco? In LA. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. So you're probably not even going to go to San Francisco, right? Because you said it's in like the Sacramento area. Yeah, sometimes. Or where, you don't know where state's going to be. Where what is? Where is it? Hamilton is in LA. Where is the state cross country? Oh, state is in Fresno. Fresno. Okay, yes. I was trying to remember. <laughs> I don't know how many I did. How about you did some? Oh. <laughs> enough. <laughs> yeah, you definitely did enough. You're about halfway. Okay. I don't have your timer, but I think you're about halfway. Hot. That's good. Getting warm. Yeah. I feel like sometimes when I'm still in the warm up and I'm all bundled up, I'm like, eh, I'm not even <laughs> warm yet. And, <laughs> and when I'm all like sweaty and stuff, it's like, okay, I knew I would get warm. <laughs> so many it is
and sit ups. Done with that dumbbell. Yeah. Yes, nice job. We've got about one minute left. Oh, what am I doing? You can, well, yeah, I think you might have a few seconds left. <laughs> I was like going to do more lunges. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> One more seconds. I think you have about 10 seconds left. Yeah. <sighs> okay. <sighs> <sighs> 